Hey y'all and welcome back to the Pendry Home for some more cleaning motivation for today's video. I am going to be giving you lots of cleaning motivation just here in the master bedroom and master bathroom. I had a lot of laundry to do on this day and just pretty much cleaning up this area and this space really well. Um, I started like a little deep clean and I'm trying to go kind of like by room by room. So I did start in here um, with the bedroom and just wiping everything down and getting everything fixed up. And then I did not show the next day. I had also finished up my deep cleaning because I had started later in the day, but I did wash the comforter as well and then I changed the sheets. Um, the only thing that's left to do in this bedroom is to wipe down, of course, all the baseboards and um, take the curtains down and wash those up really good. And then I need to clean the windows as well. Um, so that's all that's left in this area. I did get the baseboards in the bathroom and you guys will see that here in a little bit. Um, and then I think the next area that I'm going to move to, I'm not really sure because I have a project that's about to get started. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to do my project first because that's probably going to take a few days or if I want to go ahead and get another area of the house deep cleaned. Um, if so, it may be the living room uh, or the kitchen. Not really sure. Like I said, uh, one of the two is going to be first and then I'll move into the dining room for some more deep cleaning in there. Um, there's really not much to do in the dining room other than like wipe down all the baseboards and the doors and the windows. Um, but I'm trying to, because my spring cleaning kind of got cut short due to just a lot of things happening and going on in our lives. Um, I did not get to do all the spring cleaning that I wanted to do, so now I'm doing it in the summer, which is completely okay because I don't think there should be like a time limit on when you should do things anyway. Um, so in all honesty, you know, if you want to deep clean, deep clean when you can. Don't just do it during a particular season or anything. If You know, if you want to do it in the winter, do it in the winter. But um, a thing about washing your comforter, it is recommended to wash your comforter at least seasonally unless you're using it more. So I know some people don't use actual bed sheets and they use just their comforter. Um, I for one like my bed sheets because I can change those weekly and when I say bed sheets I mean like having a top sheet that goes over me so the comforter isn't on contact with my, my husband's skin it's our sheet that is and the comforter is on top of that just for extra coverage um so i like to change my sheets weekly um and then my comforter i wash it seasonally um it's just recommended unless somebody has been sick in your house and then you want to wash it after like a major sickness or something but um or if you know something just happens to spill on it or whatever but um, so yeah, I try to wash my comforter seasonally and it usually takes it about two days to dry and I just throw it over our shower um, in our guest bathroom or our main bathroom, whatever you want to call it. I throw it over that shower door um, just to let it dry for about two days. So thankfully in the summer, it's not as bad when that happens because it's not cold outside and um, we are usually pretty hot uh, during the night when we sleep. So it's not too bad when we have to wash it in the summertime, but any other time of the year, it's, it's uh, a little different because then we're like all bundled up in blankets and froze. But um, as you guys see here, I moved into the bathroom and I'm actually going to be reorganizing and redoing this medicine cabinet again. I feels like I just shared deep cleaning and decluttering this bathroom, um, but here we are again products have changed. I have became more minimal in the products that I am using. Um, as I shared in my vlog, these skin products that I have been using. So with the changes of products and just becoming more minimal with that, I decided that I did not need all of that clutter and all of the products that were in this medicine cabinet no longer taking up space. So I wanted to get those products out. Um, and just kind of put the basics of what I've been using, which like I said, hasn't been that much. Um, and I just wanted to give it a really good clean. 
and put these other products away into our linen closet. So this linen closet is actually really big. Um, I'm still wanting to do some kind of better organizational thing with it. It just has not happened yet. I haven't found like an organizer that I really want for it. But like I said, the closet itself is really big. Um, and me and my husband have said if we had to do it over again when we had our bathroom remodeled when we first got married, we would have moved the toilet into that area and then changed our vanity to a double sink um, vanity. So it would have gave us more space and everything and then the toilet kind of would have been a little bit more private because we really did not need a linen closet this big. Um, so, but you know, you live and you learn and, um, I don't think this is our forever home anyway. So, um, it'll be okay. Maybe the next person who has this house may want to change that. I don't, I don't really know, but here we are in the shower and you guys know that this is the absolute like least favorite of mine to clean. Um, but I am using just a multi-purpose cleaner and also my Comet and a stainless steel like scrubber. Um, and that is what works really good for my shower. I'm telling you guys, um, it depends on the products you use, but it also depends on the tool that you use to clean out your grout. And the stainless steel like little scrubber thing has been one of the best um, to get that grout really clean. And also just the Comet itself as well. Um, and all of that so and then I'm gonna also like I said get these doors really good and clean um, and I will wipe down the baseboards so I hope you guys enjoy today's video and find lots of cleaning motivation um, and it gets you up and moving to get your home nice and clean um, and yeah so that's about all I have for y'all right now and I will let y'all continue to watch
So I have a question and you can leave your answers down in the comments if you want, but how often do y'all wipe down all of your baseboards and like your doors and all of that and like your windows and um, like the window seals? How often do you clean this? Because I think I honestly just do it when I feel like it. Like I just get like these spurts of I need to deep clean everything. And this was one of those times and it just has been here recently that I just feel like I need to deep clean absolutely everything. So I'm just wondering how often do you guys deep clean like your baseboards and your windows and your doors and everything? Because I don't really know, I don't have a time limit. It's not like I do it like every three months. I don't even really do it seasonally because it did not get done during the springtime for sure. And I don't even think it got done in the winter. I can't remember the last time I like wiped down everything. Probably last year, like a little over a year ago, whenever we got married and I was moving into this house, I deep cleaned everything and wiped down everything, but because I was painting everything. Um, but I don't think they've been wiped down since. So is that like a yearly thing or is that like a half year thing? Like, I don't really know. So you guys let me know what you do or what you suggest to kind of keep everything up. Um, I just... Like I said, maybe it's a yearly thing. Maybe it's just something you do yearly. Maybe it's something you do twice a year. I don't know, or seasonally. I would love to know what you guys do. I don't know how often I'm gonna do it. I would like to at least do it twice a year and do it like, you know, every six months. Um, wipe down everything just to get all the dust and, you know, stuff out of your house. But I don't know, I don't know when you should. <laughs> So yeah, you guys just leave that down in the comments and let me know what you do. But like I said, on this day I had a lot of laundry to do and I honestly felt like the laundry never ended. And as I am doing this voiceover, <laughs> uh, I feel like that's how it is right now too. So um, y'all might be getting a lot of more laundry motivation um, as well in my next video because uh, I have a lot of laundry to fold and put up. So here recently I've been like on my laundry game as of I've been washing it and drying it, but then that's as far as it goes. I don't know, you know, sometimes that's just what happens. You, you get it washed, you, you get it dried and you put it in a basket and that's as far as you get with it, but that is okay. But um, anywho, yeah, so you guys, like I said, just let me know down in the comments how often you deep clean your house. And here is the finished product of my deep cleaning of our bedroom and our bathroom and how nice and minimal and clean the medicine cabinet is now. And look how clear and shiny the shower is. The door is always the hardest part, but y'all, I'm telling you, take that stainless steel scrubber or aluminum foil if you don't have one and um, some product and you are good to go. It will shine it right up. A nice, beautiful, clean bedroom just makes me more excited to get in there for the night and just having everything smelling good. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you are new here and would like to see more content from me. Bye y'all.